Caitlin. I'm so happy to finally be here with you today. I've had this exciting buzzing in my stomach all week at the thought of marrying you, and I don't think I could have held out much longer. It's finally here, the day I get to marry the most perfect woman. You've been perfect since the night I met you, when we talked about the stars, our dreams for the world, and excitement for everything out there. And since then, I haven't been able to look at the night sky without thinking of you, which, hell of a comparison to be fair, and you live up to every bit of it. Every day I'm with you makes that day feel like a good day. I've gotten to the point that I lose track of Sundays versus Tuesdays and Saturdays versus Wednesdays. It's because regardless of the day of the week, I'm happy with whatever's going on because with you. Stop. <laughs> In the moment we met, I instantly was overcome with a sense of being home. And I knew in that moment you left that night that you were the man I would be spending the rest of my life with. Since that moment, this feeling has only grown immensely. And it has been such an honor and a privilege to love you more and more every day. As we commit ourselves to each other today, I vow to be your teammate and best friend, to forever support you and choose you no matter what life throws at us, to always be open, to prioritize you, to be loyal to you, and to love you fiercely. You are my best friend, and there is truly no one else that I would want to spend the rest of my life with. Every day I promise to try to make you feel at least half as special as you make me feel. And by keeping this priority to make you feel loved with a hopeful optimism and a few jokes, I know that one day I'll get to look back at our beautifully branching night sky of a life together and know that I spent in the perfect way with the perfect one. I love you, Caitlin. <laughs> Here's forever, <Jersey. laughs> I wanna be shimmy ghost Before tonight, people were asking me how did I feel, was I nervous, was I sad, and I honestly didn't know how I felt. But I was really worried about walking Caitlin down the aisle. And then I found out I had to do it twice. I had to do it last night at the rehearsal, and then today when I was walking down, I can tell you how I felt. I felt sad. A dad's love for his daughter is a fierce love. It's a never-ending love. And I was sad. But then I looked up and I saw Drew looking at her. And I, my sadness turned to happiness. Caitlin, you're in good hands with you. You truly are. When Drew and I were living together in our mid 20s, a lot of our friends started getting married. Now, you might be surprised to hear, but neither of us were remotely close to having weddings of our own. And you know, we were starting to feel a little left out. So we decided that when we turned 30, we would throw a Drew and Nick aren't getting married party. It would be our chance to throw a huge wedding style event. We'd make invites with professional photos, rent a hall and a DJ, and throw the best non-wedding you've ever seen. It was mostly just fun to joke about, but it also wasn't a joke. We were two great friends sharing an apartment, going through life together, and we wanted people to recognize this fact by buying us new kitchen appliances. So what can I say about Drew? I could say that Drew is smart, thoughtful, and caring. I could tell you how he's a world traveler, or I could tell you how he can't hit a golf ball as far as his father-in-law. <laughs> So excited to see where the rest of our your life adventures take you. We have loved getting to watch the two of you grow and bring out the best in one another. We, we love you to moon and back. back. Cheers, Cheers to, to the readers. Good. Something I've been missing You got it
Drew, it's a real shame we never got to have our big day together. But I'm so glad you found someone so perfect to do it with for real. Caitlin, I couldn't be happier my best friend will have someone so special to look after him, who will embrace him for who he is, and will continue to bring so much joy into his life. I wish you the best of luck in your marriage, and I can't wait to hear about all the hijinks you get into together. <laughs> to Drew and Caitlin. You got it.